Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. Today I will show you how to use an external editor to write your script and to save it into your computer, your real computer. This is my KSP folder for uh, KOS and uh, you have uh, the folder game data with uh, the KOS folder and the squad folder for the game and uh, if you look at the KOS folder uh, you, you won't find uh, anywhere to save your script because uh, your scripts well are yours they are not uh, the property of the uh, KOS mod so uh, the script uh, the scripts are not saved uh, into the KOS folder. They are, they are saved uh, in the folder ships here. And uh, if you uh, installed the, the KOS mod correctly, in these folder ships you have a new folder script and this is where you have to save your uh, scripts. Uh, inside this folder you have a boot folder. I, I am not going to talk about this uh, boot folder today. Uh, you'll have to wait another video. So, in this folder, let me create a new uh, text document. Okay, uh, launch, for example. Okay, uh, this is a text document, a very simple uh, document. In the text file, I have written uh, how test code. Uh, this is the code you know well now. And uh, I saved it. And just to show you, if you uh, right click on your uh, file and uh, you uh, look at the property of the file, you will see here the, the size of your, uh, your, your file, 142. Octet, uh, one octet in French is one byte, so 142 bytes. Uh, this is the space needed uh, for your um, your script, okay? But this is not a problem because uh, this processor has a disk space of 5,000 bytes, so no problem with your 142 uh, bytes here. Just a little thing, uh, don't forget to change the extension of your file because you don't want a text file, you want a KOS script. So the end of your file must be .ks. Okay, so you have to change that. You have to change the end here with ks. Okay, don't forget that. Okay. So uh, the, the script is now saved in my computer. That means that I can use it with all uh, the ships uh, I have. Uh, it is saved. I don't have to write it again and again and again. I can use it with all my ships. So how can, and I, how can I do that? In the terminal, if I write list, I have the list of all the scripts saved into the processor. There is none here. My processor is empty. My script is saved in the archive, in the KSC. In the real world, it is saved in my PC, but in the, uni the KSP universe, it is saved in the KSC. It is the archive. So I have to switch to the volume. Uh, of the archive. The volume of the archive is zero, so I have to switch to zero. Now, list, and you'll see there is a, a file name boot. This is not a file, this is the folder boot. And there is the file launch.ks with uh, the size of 142 uh, bytes. And the free space remaining, of course, is infinite because in the KSC you can store. Uh, uh, every script you want. So now I can 
run my script run launch the script is run directly from the archive from zero okay let's go as you see the script works well first the screen was cleared then booster ignition stage wet one the clamps were released and we are waiting until the vertical speed is negative and when this happens the last stage will be activated there we go back to the launch pad launch pad uh, again list you see the uh, processor is empty switch to zero list and yeah my script launch is still here now imagine you need to uh, save the script into your ship one day you can find uh, yourself on a situation where you want your uh, script saved into the ship and not uh, only on your computer so you you can uh, save the script you can copy the script from the archive to the computer for this you can copy your script and you will copy the path of your script so copy path um, quote character zero oh, be careful uh, how to write uh, the pass the path so zero is the archive and your script is launch dot ks so you want to copy that path path to that one your ship is uh, the the volume of your ship is one so you want to copy from the volume zero to volume one launch dot ks okay if you uh, write it uh, in this way it is very clear from zero to one the script the script name uh, doesn't need to be the same you can change if you wish the the, the name and um, if you don't want to write it completely you can just write it like that and uh, if you write it like that K kos will understand that you want from zero to one and uh, the name of the script is the same okay so if I do that, enter, and now I switch to one. So back to uh, the ship, to the processor, list files. And now you see the launch is here. Okay. And um, I don't know why, <laughs> but it seems that uh, the size of uh, my file uh, is not uh, the, the same yeah, really I, I don't know why but doesn't matter <laughs> okay uh, so now I can run uh, directly uh, my script from the ship okay so run launch.ks back to the launchpad here this is a, a, a new craft uh, meant to go to orbit no uh, it is not meant to go to orbit you can go to orbit with, with that craft with that uh, craft yeah uh, but it is meant to to be in orbit for this I have uh, created a new script orbit.ks and uh, you can see that the script is quite simple clear screen and then uh, print time seconds okay it is very very simple so uh, let's go to orbit Well, we are in orbit, we have connection with the KSC because we are not above the KSC, but we are going to. So we have a good connection with the KSC. Okay, so I can switch to zero, no problem. And I can run my new script, orbit.ks. Okay, this is the time second. The, um, 
uh, screen uh, has been cleared first and uh, the seconds is no uh, are now printed here new situation here and no i have no longer the uh, any um, connection okay we are uh, we are on the other side of kerbin there is no connection between uh, minecraft and uh, kerbin so what happens now if i want uh, to do the same if i want to switch to a zero it is not possible because uh, the um, signal is lost waiting to reacquire signal okay so if i warp to here the signal will be reacquired let's see what happens okay so uh, now i have switched to zero um, again I am here. Okay, no connection. I want to run uh, my orbit um, script. Again, signal lost. Okay, we have a solution. We uh, we don't have any connection to uh, the KSC, so we don't have any connection to uh, the archive. So the solution is to uh, copy the orbit file into my processor. So I can copy path zero, um, what is the name, orbit.ks <laughs> into the processor. Okay, switch to one. Switch to one, list. Oh, what I've done wrong. Doesn't matter. Let's do this. Uh, oh, let's dot ks. Okay. List. Okay. Orbit dot ks. That's right. So, let me clear screen. Right, so I know now that uh, uh, my script is saved into the processor. Okay, so to be sure, switch to one. Okay, right, so let's go back uh, on the other side of the planet. Warp here. The connection is lost again. Okay, so now I can run the script because it is saved into uh, my ship ship to the, the uh, processor. Uh, now I can't signal lost. That means I can't uh, uh, run a script from from the terminal if I don't have any signal. And this is um, important to to remember. Okay, so let's go back here, and you will see that as soon as we have the connection the screen the script run okay but this is a problem if i want to execute a maneuver here other side of the planet and i don't have any connection how can i do the answer is not quite simple but this is a first answer here i can wait sometimes um, I know that uh, my period here is 31 minutes. So for example, if I want to uh, wait uh, 16 minutes, 16 minutes is 16 times 60 seconds. Okay. So I can uh, write here uh, an operation 16 time, times 60. This is the number of seconds in 16 minutes. So I wait that long and then i print times a second okay so i can save my script so now the script is saved i have to uh, copy it the new version of my script uh, from the archive to my ship okay this here no problem 
and now I am here. I have the connection. So I can run uh, the script. Okay, so uh, run orbit. Okay. Now um, you'll see we, we have done that part, clear screen. Now the script is waiting 16 times 60 seconds and then it, it will print uh, time seconds. Let's see it. Okay, so I warp here. The connection is lost and I, I will warp manually. And you will see at one point, you will see here a number appear. Just have to be patient here. You see, I don't have any connection, but the script is running. Why? Because I started the script uh, once I have the connection. When you have the connection, you can uh, start any script. And then the script continues to run as long as uh, it should. Even if you lost your, uh, even if you lose your your uh, connection and that is very very important of course the the script i have here it's not ideal uh, uh, i have written uh, wait 16 times 16 manually but the, the point is that you can run a script you can copy a script and you can start a script when you have the connection and when you don't have the connection you can't uh, start a script, but a script continues to run uh, if uh, it uh, it has been started with the connection. Okay, and this is uh, what I wanted to, you, to you show know you. how to uh, uh, save a script in your computer, you know, how to copy it from your computer to your shift, to your, your, your processor, to your ship's processor. Uh, you know how to uh, directly run it from the archive, from your computer. And uh, in the future video, I will show you how to uh, execute a script automatically uh, without the need of uh, read, uh, write it uh, in the terminal. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my video. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.